Hello, welcome to the Thursday, September 12, 2019 edition of the Sands and Storm Center's Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich, and today I'm recording from Berlin, Germany. Got quite a bit of interest and responses regarding Firefox switching to DNS over HTTPS. Certainly a hot topic and just at the heels of the announcement from Mozilla, we got a similar announcement from Google that Google will start to experiment with DNS over HTTPS in Chrome 78. A stable version of Chrome 78 should be released in October. Currently, we are on Chrome 77. And the way Google plans to implement DNS over HTTPS is a little bit more sort of differentiated than what Mozilla is planning with Firefox. With Firefox, sort of one of the features that really raised probably the most criticism here is that users will essentially be forced to use Cloudflare for their DNS lookups. Now, Cloudflare appears to be a reasonable choice, but well, uh, users may have picked a different DNS provider for a reason. Google does not plan to change your DNS provider. They are just checking if your existing DNS provider does support DNS over HTTPS. And if so, then they'll take advantage of it. Now, the way they're supposed to work is that Google has a list of DNS providers that do support DNS over HTTPS. So it will essentially be using this list to conduct the switch. So nothing will change if your DNS provider does not support DNS over HTTPS unless you specifically, of course, configure Google Chrome to do so. In the upcoming beta build of Chrome 78, you may be seeing this feature for, as Google puts it, a small selected group of users. And one comment I received regarding Firefox pointed out that Firefox published a brief blog post how to turn off DNS over HTTPS. In particular, they set up a particular domain, use-application-dns.net. If you do return an annex domain for the A and quad A records for this domain, then it will not switch to DNS over HTTPS. So this is how you pretty easily without the Active Directory, if for example, some of the device or network aren't connected to Active Directory, you will be able to turn off this automatic switch to DNS over HTTPS. And recently we had a number of diary entries regarding various disk files that contain malware. These are sort of variants of ISO files that are essentially recognized as disks. And there's now some new work from Will Dorman from CERT-CC who looked at the VHD and VHDX disk, disk image files that they are often not inspected by antivirus, kind of confirming what we have seen for these other files. Furthermore, a, these files are not labeled with what's typically called the mark of the web or MOTW. This is a mark that does prompt the user to be extra careful when they are opening a file and indicates that the file was downloaded from the web. Aside from outright blocking these files at gateways, Will Dorman recommends that you can also just unregister these extensions with Microsoft Windows Explorer. So not Internet Explorer, but Microsoft Windows Explorer. That way these extensions are no longer sort of automatically linked to certain behavior and opened. And going back to Google Chrome, we also received Google Chrome 77 this week, and it fixes 36 different security vulnerabilities, one of which is rated as critical. There are also a couple of changes that do affect security. First of all, extended validation certificates are no longer highlighted. This is a change that had been coming for a while now because uh, the real value of some of these extended validation certificates was a little bit questionable. So that's why Google sort of took this move. 
Secondly, refer headers are now limited to four kilobytes. There is no real sort of official limit for this header and these excessively large refer headers have been used in privacy attacks in the past.